Hey what's up guys this is Akshay and today in this video let's review MIUI 8 on the Moto G2 second generation with tutorial and download links given in the video description. So without further any ado, let's get started with the full review of this ROM on the Honda Tech Show. Hey what's up guys, so this is the Moto G 2nd generation successfully booted with MIUI 8. So let's unlock it. Now you can see the MIUI 8 home screen. Now this is running on the MIUI 8 with this latest version and it has on screen buttons like on Mi Mix which looks great. So let's go to the settings and let's go to the about the phone section and now you can see it is running on android 6.0 marshmallow which is pretty good in my opinion because even the redmi 2 with the xiaomi's own phone is still running on mui 8 lollipop so that's great this is an unofficial build still it's running marshmallow which is also running on the latest and greatest phones like the redmi note 4 so that's great and it has 1 gigs of RAM, of course this phone has 1 gigs of RAM, but it's a kind of a nightmare for this phone because MIUI is a very heavy interface. So of course it's smooth, you know, it's fast, you have all the features of MIUI 8 and this is the MIUI 8 China ROM, so you can see the search bar on the top. So that's great. And now you can see there's a bucket, it shows no SIM card, but don't worry, everything from calls, messaging, everything works. I will show you the example on the screen. So now we are calling and everything works. So no issues in there. It's a small bug, it doesn't show, but there's a fix for that. So all you have to do is just to press power button. And now press to reboot, press to reboot, and just exit and press power button twice. And now just open it up. No, surprise surprise your network is back of course it's already there it doesn't show so now you can see it's showing Vodafone in 3G so that's great it supports 3G of course this phone doesn't suppose what you so we have all the new apps like the weather app the calendar app the calculator app everything working out of the box so no issues in there so you can see you have the stock MIUI gallery app which has inbuilt editing features you have the game store and surprisingly, there's even a phone section. So it's actually running on the latest and greatest MIUI. Of course, versions might be different because this is an official build. So someone is actually porting it to this phone. Well, yeah, Mi card, if you signed in, you can get it there. The Mi Cloud and features, just awesome. Even how the, the Compass apps working perfectly. So this ROM is mostly stable, there's minor bugs in there, but that's okay for custom ROMs. And now you don't have the MIUI camera app, so you have the Snapdragon camera, uh, which is normal uh, custom ROMs. So, sadly, no MIUI camera app. So camera can be an issue a little bit, but the camera app is good, no issues there. Now let's look to the stock setting so there's this new screen in there which is not in present MIUI so this has all the features that Motorola has so like of course this is the motor phone so all the motor toggles are there and it has a few bugs it crashes as you can see on the home screen so that's that's weird but okay nonetheless rest things are working and double tap sadly doesn't work I don't know why And of course, multitasking is ease. Even with one gig of RAM, this is running multitasking the pro. Of course, you have all the MIUI features like the dual space, dual apps, and you can browse like a pro, no problem in there. So this is a great ROM. If you try MIUI on your phone, this is a great deal. And so you have a security app. And every app works perfectly. Even in stock Android, the Facebook was lagging, but this is MIUI, this is smooth. I don't know what happened to Motorola after Lenovo. So Lenovo really screwed Motorola. So everything works from Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, mobile data, so no issues there. 
When we keep on bringing some custom ROMs for this phone, so stay tuned. We are bringing AX ROM for this phone, so stay tuned for the review. So hit that subscribe button. You also have some custom apps like this Equalizer, and you have some stock Motorola apps, which I will show you soon. So of course, there's a video recorder. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you have SSC, and it's not working. So of course, there's a minor browser in there. That's okay for this phone. Of course, the stock Android, the default Android for this phone is much buggier than this one. So that's pretty much for this video. Hope you liked it. Hope you found it useful. If you did like it, hit the like button or even consider supporting us by subscribing down below. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye now.